Good morning children and dear parents. Today I'm going to teach you mental maths and the topic is fill in the blanks. Now children I want to tell you something. Fill in the blanks you will get it in the written form and also in the called out form. Now in the called out form children the teacher will only call out the question and you will work out the sum mentally and write only the answers. Have you understood children? Okay. Now let's move on to the first question. Question number one. Ordinal number for 20. You have to write it in words. Spelling means words. So what is the ordinal number for 20? 20th. Question number two. Add 250 to itself. Now, to itself means 250 plus 250 will give you 500. Question number three. One more than 90 tens. Here more means add. Adding one. Now first we will multiply these two. 90 into 10 will give you 900. 900 plus 1 will give you 901. Question number 4. If 20 is half of a number, what is twice the number? Now we got half of a number children. We have to find the full number. To find the full number, you will multiply 20 by 2. So 22 is 40. Now you got 40. Now twice 40 will give you, 40 plus 40 will give you 80. Next, question number 5. Which number comes after the greatest three digit number. Greatest means the biggest. You know which is the greatest three digit number? Yes, 999. What comes after 999? 1000. Good. So we write 1000. Next, twice 50 minus 10 into 5 is equals to dash. Now, twice 50 means 50 plus 50 will give you 100. Now, we will multiply these two numbers. 10 into 5 will give you 50. So, 100 minus 50 will give you 50. Question number 7. Add 25 to 5 and multiply it by 10. We get dash. Now children 25 plus 5 will give you 30. 30 multiplied by 10. So 30 into 10 will give you 300. Next question. Question number 8. How many fortnights are there in a month? Children 2 weeks. Make a fortnight, which is equals to 14 days. Therefore, in one month, we have two fortnights. So, we will write two. Next, question number nine. Six days more than four weeks. One week, how many days, children? Seven. Therefore, four weeks. 7 into 4 will give you 28. 28 plus 6 will give you 34. Question number 10. How many apples are there in one fourth of a dozen? One dozen has how many units children? 12. Now, one-fourth means one by four. 
So say a four times table till you come to twelve. Yes, four threes are twelve. So we get three apples. Next question. Question number eleven. Find the difference between four thousand and one thousand and eight hundred is equals to dash. Difference means subtract. So subtract one thousand eight hundred from four thousand. We get two thousand two hundred. Next question. Question number twelve. Successor of three thousand ninety nine is equals to dash. Successor means what comes after. So to make it easy, children, what comes after ninety-nine? Yes, one hundred. So the successor of three thousand ninety-nine is three thousand one hundred. Question number thirteen. If you make a century, how many runs will that be? A century, children. How many units? Yes, hundred. So you will make hundred runs. Next question. Fourteen. One gross plus one dozen. How many units in one gross? One hundred and forty-four. How many units in one dozen? Twelve. So. One hundred and forty-four plus twelve will give you one hundred and fifty-six. Next question. Add twenty to the difference of thirty-five and fifteen. Your difference means, children. Yes. Subtract. Subtract fifteen from thirty-five. What will you get? Yes, twenty. Add twenty to this twenty. So twenty plus twenty will give you forty. Question number sixteen. Write a fraction whose denominator is fifteen and numerator is five. Now, in a fraction. The number above the line is called the numerator, and the number below the line is called the denominator. So here the numerator is five. We'll write it above the line, and denominator is fifteen. It will be written below the line. So the fraction is five by fifteen. Question number seventeen. What is three fourth? Of twelve, of means multiply children. So twelve threes are thirty six. Thirty six divided by four will give you nine. Question number eighteen. In five by seven, five is called the dash. Now five is above the line. So it is the numerator. Question number nineteen: Double hundred and subtract sixty from it. Yeah, double hundred means children. Hundred plus hundred will give you two hundred. Now subtract sixty from two hundred. What will you get? Yes. One hundred and forty. Next question. Question number twenty. What is thirty less than thirty tens? Your less means subtract. Now first we will do thirty into ten will give you three hundred. Subtract. Thirty from three hundred, you will get two hundred and seventy. 
children now all the worksheets related to this topic will be uploaded on the school website parents you are kindly requested to go through them and help your child to do the work thank you